Morning everyone, afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. This is day eight. I just had to remember where we were there. This is day eight out of our 30 days of our courtesies reboot that we're doing where we all come together, we tap out our courtesies together. If you're able to join live, that's fantastic. If not, then just make sure you jump on and join us at some point during your day. And then that way, as we come together as a collective, we learn it a bit better, we integrate it a bit deeper, our bodies respond better, and the benefits that you get out of it long term is gonna be magnificent. So I'm gonna dedicate my courtesies today because um, I don't want to give away too much information for privacy reasons. One of our family members had a grand mal seizure, several grand mal seizures during the evening and they are not very well this morning. They do have epilepsy uh, from a severe brain injury. And what I would like to do is use myself as a surrogate to tap out cortices for her. Now, if you have been to one of my classes, particularly my um, Access for Animals and People class, or even back when I was just teaching it as an Access for Animals class, you'll remember that I give you several options of how you can use yourself as a surrogate, use a, a tool such as a teddy as a surrogate, you can use somebody else as a surrogate, um, or if you've done hologram work, you can use a hologram. If you uh, have learned Mindscape, then there are tons of tools. My most favourite class ever, um, there are tons of tools in Mindscape that you can use to facilitate this technique. If you have not as yet done that class with me, then what I'm going to suggest is to use yourself as a surrogate to do the technique for somebody else is that it really the nuts and bolts it comes down to intention. If your intention is really clear and you can focus on what it is that you're doing, then that will massively help. So I myself, I'm going to pretend that in my imagination, I'm standing right beside this person. And in my imagination, as I'm tapping out the technique on myself, I'm actually going to be imagining that I'm placing a hand at the base of their brain and that I'm going to be tapping it in over the head brain, over the heart brain and over the gut brain. The more you do this over a period of time, the more the subtle sense of touch develops for you, the more the rest of the subtle senses actually develop for you as well. So I would, I highly recommend that. It is very, very effective. Um, yeah, I don't want to go into too much because it's such a huge area that we can uh, talk about and explore as time goes on. So whilst I'm tapping out the technique on myself today, I'm also going to be imagining that I'm taking, tapping the technique for this person as well, hands on. And that will benefit them. In fact, I will most likely do it several times today for them. Okay, so let's get started. Hand placement one at the base of the brain. Exaggerated breathing throughout the entire technique. And we're tapping very lightly over the top of the head brain, making sure that we're connecting with both hemispheres of the brain. And we're tapping very lightly over the heart brain. And again, over the gut brain, which is situated or we, we tap about an inch above the belly button. So whoever that is that's just joined me, I'm actually using myself as a surrogate today for a family member that's had grand mal seizures during the evening. So I'm tapping the cortices out on myself and I'm also tapping cortices out in my imagination for them as well. I'm moving my hand up to the next hand position. If you've got any questions as we go, let me know. So we're moving into the parietal section of the brain. 
So as I've mentioned before, third hand position, the gut brain is actually associated with the entire digestive system from top to bottom. But we more think of it as being largely associated with the small intestine. And for that reason, that's why we tap just above the area of the belly button. You can tap straight over the top of your hand. Next hand position. All the way around to the front of the brain. Okay, finishing off on the sides, so the temporal lobes. One of my cats just joined me on the table, that's why we're popping. And I'm going to do another big breath here. This improves uh, communication between both hemispheres of those temporal lobes. And I'm going to take one hand away, tapping it in over the head brain, the heart brain, and the gut brain. Beautiful. We're done. Day eight. Okay, if you have any questions about anything at all, put it into the comments. You can private message me. If you have any feedback at all, you can also send that through. Thank you to everyone that has shared uh, today and It'll be wonderful to connect with you tomorrow morning live as well. Have a great day. Bye.